Now, hello, this is a note, a follow-up note on loading S63 encrypted ENC charts into Expedition. We have an example done already uh, with an article and a video about it. I'll show the reference to that in a moment. Uh, doing the free charts from New Zealand. And so it's a good exercise to uh, watch that video first and then uh, practice with the free charts from New Zealand. Now, but now, since each, each set of charts that you get from different countries are slightly different in what they give you, but the key factors of what you need will be common to them. And so I just want to illustrate the case of using, uh, actually buying a couple charts. And I bought these, I think I bought a couple charts from uh, Great, from uh, England, England area, uh, to, and to illustrate. And so the main article to check is this one, and I'll put these links in the description. This is an article, just a general discussion of S63 charts, which is the background I'm not going to discuss. Some videos, here's how you download the New Zealand ones, here's how you purchase them from Chart World, and here's how you load them into New Zealand. Eventually there'll be this video sitting right here on how you load the Chart World. So that's the background. And so then, um, once you buy the charts, you will get back an email from them, and this is again in that, in that video, that gives you two, f you get two zipped files. They have this kind of name dot S63 and this kind of name dot, I mean dot 60, S63 dot zip uh, uh, dot PRM dot zip and so forth. And so those are, that's what you get back. It's a, it's a pretty direct, easy process. And once you get those back, then you have a folder that looks like this. And these are now unzipped. Now, don't be misled here. There's, it looks like an extension .s63 and .prm, and a, a prudent mariner might start wondering what those extensions mean, but notice this is actually the name of a folder, so it doesn't really matter what these say. This, you could put .grapefruit on the back of this and it wouldn't matter. Uh, okay, so let's open this one up, and you see ENC root, that's where the charts are. And if I open that further, and open that further, and open that further, eventually, eventually we're gonna get the charts. Okay, so there are the charts. Uh, so that's the charts in that, and let's see, IHO, this we don't need, we already have. Uh, let's see, this one now, this folder will include the main thing we do need, permit.txt. That's a file we're going to have to point to in Expedition to make these work. It also sends us back, we got this from Chart World, but we had to tell Chart World where we were going to install these, and which means I had to give it my user permit for, uh, the, for the installation and computer I'm using to run Expedition on. Everybody's 28 character number here will be different, and one won't work on another and so forth. Okay, so that's the, that's the data. And for the time being, we're going to just see if we can get away with just dropping those right in like we did on the, uh, on the other, uh, with the New Zealand files. So let's go here. Well, actually, um, what we would do first, I think we just actually do from a, uh, you know, from a folder here. Or what are all of these? Let me just close. I don't know what I got going here. Let me just close those and start from scratch. Okay, so I want a, a C drive, a program data, expedition, expedition, and then S63. Now here we have, these are the New Zealand charts that we put in here. Ah, you know, at this point, uh, New Zealand. You know, at this case, I'm going to break all the New Zealand charts, but, but that's okay. We can just go back and reassign them. But I'm going to just right click here and say New Folder. And I'm just going to put New Zealand uh, S63. S63. Uh, so, and then I'm going to take all this stuff. Again, that means I'm going to have to go back into 
I'm going to have to go back into Expedition and reassign them. And then I'm going to make another folder here, new folder, and call it, uh, this is going to be called Chart World. Chart World. And um, um, I think for now I can just leave it like that. Okay. And so then I'm going to open up Chart World, and then I'm going to put these things in it that we got from Chart World these two folders let's see if I can do that okay I've done that okay so we have then all of our data that we need from this in the <coughs> chart world folders as 63 and so forth so, okay so let's start that way um, okay so now we're in the pro I'm surprised this still works but uh, well it probably won't actually let me just I'm gonna close this and start again because I twiddled the d the base the, the data file. That's not generally a good idea. Ah, well, it's look at that. Didn't mind. Didn't mind that change. Okay, so now I'm going to go to ENCs and say permits. And uh, this is my oh okay, so you see it doesn't have the New Zealand one here anymore. So those probably won't open, uh, but I'm going. That's my that's my user ID, my use no user permit that's permanent tied to this program, expedition so forth. Now I want to import uh, import um, the user permit. Let's see where do we put it? Program data. Uh, no, the permit.txt file, permit.txt, and that was in expedition. And then you go to uh, S63, and then we did Chart World, and the permit was down in this one, I think. There it is, permit.txt. And that's what it's looking for. That's the only file it's looking for. Okay, and there are the two charts. So that worked. Actually, I may be asking for trouble here and have to do my video again, but let's do this again, import, and go back to New Zealand and get that one and say open. Oh, okay, there we go. So here's our New Zealand charts. We're back good on that. And this, uh, and here's our uh, ones from Great Britain. Now, let me just point out something real quick. These, this is pretty nice. It says NZ. This one is 49, and so do I have to? Mem I have to memorize now that 49 means that. But let me just show you where that those numbers are coming from. If I uh, let me just close this, we're going to have to come back there. But if you go in here, well, okay, here, and uh, they're in the um, okay program data uh, expedition. Expedition, S63. Okay, here are the two. Um, this is now something that, this is written, written here. We didn't put that here. This Expedition wrote this here, which is summarizing its uh, what, all our registrations that we've done. Okay, so look. Let me look at the permits.txt file. And you see, look at the very last letters of each of these charts. So these charts are being identified as NZ charts. That's the last two characters on that permit permit.txt file. But if you go back to chart world, and where did we have it here? Here's permit.txt. You see, for some reason, the last two digits here is 49. And now, I, one could track that down and try to understand it, but this is just, uh, in a way, the UK uh, hydrographic office is doing it. But that's where that's where it comes from. So in practice, and when you're looking in your actual S63 charts, or actually probably any, well, no, it'll just be the S63 charts. Then you'll just have to remember what that number means. Okay, all right. I think now we're essentially done. So we have, these are the New Zealand charts. Let's go back up to where these charts were here. These are from here. Oh, okay, so very good. So there they are. So it recognizes those charts. These are the two charts that I just purchased from Chart World and loaded here. And so they are working just fine. 
and then you can do you know chart uh, chart open chart and it'll just show you what charts are there and I just have one at each place this one or the chart world or the cmap okay so that's now the process of installing and cleaning up a little bit our data file of uh, the ENCs I'll stop there thank you <laughs>